Hello everyone. In this video I'd like to talk about atheroma or the fatty plaque and to explain how exactly it leads to a heart attack or what we hear as being called a myocardial infarction and exactly what that means. Okay, so in the picture that you can see we have at the top a normal artery and at the bottom quite clearly one with this label of plaque or fatty buildup in. So what I want to do is just explain exactly what that fat is, what that plaque is, where it comes from, and which artery we're actually referring to. So we're going to just shrink this picture for a moment. We'll move that to the corner, because I think it's important to explain about this artery and where it comes from. So we'll leave that there. We'll just draw a very quick sketch of the heart. So here are our chambers, we've got the valves in place, we've got the atriums here, we've got the ventricles here. It's only a very, very rough sketch. But when you look at the heart, what you see are four big chambers where blood comes in and gets pumped out to different points in the body. But the heart is a tissue itself, it needs its own oxygen supply. So when you look at a heart, what you'll notice on the outer surface are, and I'm just going to draw this very, very roughly, are a sort of network of blood vessels, very small blood vessels that go to supply the heart tissue itself. And these are arteries, and these are what we call the coronary arteries. Now that see there is where this abbreviation comes from you might have heard of CHD it stands for coronary heart disease so the coronary refers to the coronary arteries that go to supply the heart itself and that's what we're talking about when we look at these arteries in this picture so let's explain what's going on in this picture so we'll zoom this again just move that to the side. Normally, in an artery, so let's just draw a sort of cross section of an artery here. Fat builds up. That's natural, and in everybody, everyone has a little bit of fat that builds up. And a small sort of fatty layer can form on the wall of the artery, and that's called a fatty streak. Now, any damage to that artery wall through drugs through smoking injury any form of damage it makes the body think that it's under attack and immune cells will come to that site or if you just generally have a poor diet and it's very high in saturated fat fat can just build up in that artery so over time certain i'll just color this in yellow here certain types of fat can just build up on this wall of the artery and I know exam questions often like to include that level of detail we say that fat builds up in the wall of the artery now this fat often is usually comprised of things like cholesterol specifically LDL which is low density lipoprotein cholesterol and this fat starts to build up and accumulates and immune cells called macrophages we'll just put a little M here as the fat builds up, and if there is any cell damage, you've got a load of cell debris. If that happens, these macrophages come and invade this area. And this further accumulates. And what we make is something called, I'll write it to the side, foam cells. Now these foam cells just get bigger and bigger. It's a very rough sketch, but this fat clump starts to grow in size. Now, that fat deposit in the artery and in the artery lining has many names. We often call it a fat plaque, but its real name is atheroma, and that's the important one. This condition of having this fat build up can sometimes be referred to as atherosclerosis, but also arteriosclerosis. So athero refers to the atheroma, sclerosis is of the vessel, 
an arteriosclerosis filter artery because it's an artery that the fats build up in. So this fat or this atheroma builds up in a blood vessel. One problem that you can get is calcium ions, Ca2 plus ions, that are travelling in the blood, can get stuck into this fat. And that's bad because calcium, as you know, strengthens bones. It hardens the bones. So if calcium gets into this plaque, it's going to harden this plaque and make it much more difficult to remove. Now, if you imagine blood flowing down this blood vessel here, just drawing this arrow here, you've got quite a large volume of blood going through, essentially a narrower gap, so your blood pressure will raise. If this fat were to build up and completely block the blood vessel, then no oxygen would essentially be able to go through that vessel. No blood, rather, would go through the vessel carrying the oxygen. So no oxygen would go to the cells and the tissues of the heart, the cells that need that oxygen for respiration. And those cells would actually die. Now this, if we just shrink this, this is what we call a heart attack. But its, it's proper scientific name is myo cardial infarction. Now, an infarct is an area of cell death. Myo means muscle and cardial means heart. So it's an area of cell death in the heart muscle, if you think of it that way. And that's what a heart attack is. So an atheroma is this buildup of fat, blocks the artery, the coronary artery, and no oxygen can then get to the cells. Now, in certain rare instances, if the blood is travelling at very high rate through this blood vessel, it might actually knock off or dislodge a little piece of the atheroma. And that little piece of fat might end up travelling in the blood. Now that, when that happens, that is called an embolus. And an embolus is... It's very worrying because an embolus can essentially travel everywhere where the blood can go and can get stuck and clogged in, a, in any random vessel in the body. Now that was what I wanted to talk about in this video, essentially the formation of atheroma. But just one other little extra bit. I'm sure many of you have heard of DVT or deep vein thrombosis. I just want to explain what that is. If because of this fat buildup, so if we just go back to this diagram here, if because of the fat buildup, the blood that is coming down can't get past and it starts to slow down, so it starts to slow down about here, it might start to clump together and it forms what's called a thrombus. So a thrombus is a blood clot and the reason why people on long haul flights, for example, get DVT or deep vein thrombosis is because if the blood is stationary for a long time and if people aren't moving around then it's more likely to sort of clump and clot. Now very rarely the blood, this, this blood clot, this thrombus, a little piece of that could get dislodged and travel in the liquid fluid blood and that would be called a thromboembolism. But I think just knowing these two terms is enough for now. So thrombus is a blood clot caused by slowing of the blood and embolus is when a little bit of that atheroma gets dislodged and travels in the blood. But the main point of this video is to get across atheroma. Atheroma is a fatty buildup in the wall of the coronary arteries that could lead to a myocardial infarction or an area of cell death in the heart muscle or more commonly known as the heart attack. Okay, thanks for watching.